All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. I'm the brother Taz of War, back at you again with another lesson. And uh, this one is going to be a little different. I don't really have a topic or scriptures lined up. So, you know, I want to use uh, a few pictures that I had screenshotted and go from there. So, may Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, through his spirit and power, okay, uh, allow me to edify, you know, those of the hopeful elect, all right, to receive this truth. So, without further ado, the picture, all right, as you can see, is a chariot. But the world today know this chariot to be called a UFO, which UFO stands for Unidentifying Flying Object. All right, but us of the hopeful elect who believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who believe in the scriptures and his word and the gospel, okay, we identify these flying objects because we know through the scriptures that these are the heavenly father's angels who ride in these vehicles, who the Lord sent forth. He sent them out. All right. And um, these are also the vehicles in which the heavenly father, all right, Yahweh Shai also, the son of the heavenly father. So Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, okay, which are two different entities, not the same. All right, you have the father, you have the son. Well, the son is coming back, okay, for the second return to recover the remnant of his elect, all right, of his chosen. Now, who are the chosen? The Israelites. But the chosen of the chosen is the elect, which is the ones who the Most High has selected and elected, okay, for himself. And that's starting off with the men of the Lord. All right, starting with the 144,000 governed body. All right. But you're going to have women and also children and other men as well to be under the number of the one third. Okay, so the Lord is coming back for the one third, starting with the, the 144,000. All right. So you see this chariot, right? And these are the, the angels who are the eyes of the Lord. They do the works of the Lord. Matter of fact, a scripture coming to mind now. So I'm just gonna grab every scripture that comes to mind first, Lord willing. And, and uh, this might be a short lesson, but Lord willing, you edify. So this is, yeah, uh, Ecclesiastes 20. No, this is Sirach, chapter 28. Which, hold on. Yeah. Okay. This is Sirach chapter 39, verse 28. It says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In a time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. All right. So this is talking about the Lord's angels. Okay. Whether they on the left hand side or his right hand side. The scriptures say there be spirits that are created for vengeance. All right. So we know that the spirits. Okay. The Lord's angels ride in those vehicles. And pretty soon in that great war. All right, with Michael, the archangel, with Yahweh Shai, you know, to fight for the Lord's elect, okay, that there's going to be a great war and great destruction and vengeance that's going to come from these chariots. So it says, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force. And what I've noticed you know, my time in the truth through these years and noticing that um, uh, every time there was a, 
sort of disaster. You know, everything that happens big or huge. You know, like something like a sandstorm in the eastern part of the world, floods, you know, great hurricanes and tornadoes that may have tore up the city, you know, that you always spot these chariots. I remember Hurricane Sandy, when that hit years ago, being on the porch, I went outside because it was, you know, a sight to see. You know, even though there was great winds, strong winds, and there was thunderings, lightning, and I remember going outside on the porch and looking up in the heavens, in the skies, and seeing neon lights just flashing everywhere, just like these neon uh, chariot lights, you know, like the, the, the reddish, the green, you know, the blue, and it was just, you know, like, like, like just spotting on, spot off, just flashing light, and they were like neon colors, and I knew that those were the chariots, but I could not see them because of the dark clouds so so there be spirits that are created for vengeance which in their fury lay on sore strokes in the time of destruction they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them fire and hell and famine and death all these were created for vengeance so all these things that brings a man to the grave is all vengeance of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because it's of the wicked who do wickedly and then be destroyed by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? So fire, hell, famine, death, all these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts, you know, someone getting mauled by an animal and being put to death, you know, that's vengeance of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. Here it is, the Lord is punishing the wicked to destruction. And uh, eventually, when Yahweh Shai makes his second return, the world is gonna see. Oh, another scripture coming to mind is uh, Revelations 1 and 7. So let me go there, Revelations 1 and 7. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. They also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so, to wop. All right. So it says, Behold, he cometh with clouds. You know, the chariots are identified in the scriptures under the cold word of clouds because they sit behind clouds they can take the form of a cloud you know the lord's angels can dematerialize and materialize you know so when most of the time when the lord speaks of clouds you know in the context that it's talking about his, his chariots all right so it says behold he cometh with clouds who cometh with clouds yahweh shy and every eye shall see him. Why is every eye gonna see him? Because he's coming with a whole, a whole bunch of chariots, man. All right, he's gonna cover the heavens with chariots of angels. This is why you Edomites have no chance against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Matter of fact, one of the name of the Lord, the Lord of Hosts, means the Lord of Armies. All right, the Heavenly Father's army is massive. Okay, it says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. Who pierced him? Those two men that stuck the Hawasha on the side when he was on the cross. That these men were going to see him. So, what that tells you? That look, this is reincarnation. Because obviously, 2,000 years ago, them men who pierced Yahweh Shai would not be alive right now. But how would they be alive today? Through reincarnation. It says, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so, to walk. All right. So uh let's go into another one that come to mind. And like I said, 
I'm just uh, reading through the spirit, what comes in my mind. Like I said before, I don't really have a topic and scriptures lined up, but I wanted to do a show and uh, be in the spirit, you know? Uh, this is Zechariah chapter five, verse one. Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and look and behold a flying roll. And he said unto me, what seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits and the breather thereof is 10 cubits. So Zechariah, all right, he described what he saw. And he looked up and he saw the chariot. It says, then said he unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For every one that stilleth shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And every one that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side according to it. All right, so the Lord said that these chariots, which you see here in the picture, all right, are a curse that go across the face of the whole earth. And that's why they're seen throughout the whole planet earth. No matter what country, island, city, they've been seen. And now that everyone has a smartphone, okay, and technology of the camera to record, you know, there's been more great sightings of the chariots. And that's also because we're getting closer to the end of Esau's kingdom, all right? The Lord want us to remember the things we once knew. And that's the scriptures and the heavenly father's word, which was given to us. So because he put us away for a short time, the Lord was not gonna leave us out forever, all right? The Lord is coming back to redeem his chosen. And by him redeeming and saving the elect, all right, of the elect, okay, that he's really gonna, gonna save the whole house of Israel, which is Yasha Allah. Because once two thirds get their punishment and judgment, then in the kingdom, you're gonna be back in the flesh, but made perfect through the elect, the ones that never tasted death. All right, and I'm saying that because the elect is not going to come back out as newborn babes, even, you know, after certain men being beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai, suffering unto death. These men are going to be men again, not babies growing up to men. Okay, so let's go back. It says, uh, let me read that again. Then said he unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For every one that stilleth shall be cut off on this side, according to it. And every one that sweareth shall be cut off on that side, according to it. I will bring it forth, saith Yahweh, of hosts, see, the Lord of armies, and it shall enter into the house of the thief, and into the house of him that swear falsely by my name, and it shall remain in the midst of his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. So you see that the Lord's angels are gonna remain here until the elect is delivered, until they destroy this wicked society, this wicked kingdom called America, which is known as Babylon the Great. All right, so I'm gonna leave it with one more scripture. And this is uh, Amos chapter nine, verse eight. It says, behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob saith Yahweh. all right 
So the Lord is going to destroy. He said his eyes are upon the sinful kingdom. And what are the Heavenly Father's eyes? The chariots. All right. That basically is set up as the curse that go across the face of the whole earth. All right. And right now, we're still in the hands of captivity under Edom. And the angels are here. So behold, the eyes of Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. So the Lord is not going to utterly, you know, destroy all, our, all, all of us because he has a remnant what's in it, which is an election. Okay? It says, For lo, I will command and I will shift the house of Israel among all nations. Like as corn is shift in the sheave, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. So the Lord has scattered us throughout the four corners of the world. All right? And you see brothers waking up throughout the four corners of the world, teaching and prophesizing, you know, in their city, in their state, their country. Okay? It says, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us, which evil represents bad time. So they think that bad times is not going to overtake them. All right. But it is. So when they shall seek peace, there shall be none. And then sudden destruction come up upon them. And we see that through these, uh, uh, I need to say the word, all right, through the jab that's coming and being made mandatory, you know, Jake, two thirds of our people are gonna think they're in good case, you know, to get back on up and get back into society, start chasing the money again, start chasing fame and thinking this thing goes on, but it's not, all right? The Lord said he was gonna destroy Esau. All right, I'm, thinking, I'm believing. I'm thinking also, precepting is a job. They shall he shall get them rain upon them while he is eating. You know when Esau is fulfilling his belly, when he's having massive uh, people in the world. You know taking that mark, which is the RFID microchip, the mark of the beast. The Lord said he's going to rain upon him while he is eating. You know, so you know that's it. I hope this lesson will be edifying. You know, I know brothers who already, you know, we know these scriptures. These are some famous scriptures we already know that we go into over and over. So this right here, I hope it's edifying to those of the whole Fort Lake. And like I said before, uh, I didn't have a topic and scriptures lined up. So I just pushed the button and just going into the spirit. So with that, I want to say all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakudash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of the great millstone who were well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.